What's up, Grapies? My name is Jakub Winnings. I am your enologist, which is a winemaker. Yep. I'm David Rogers, and I drink, I, like, I, I drink wine sometimes. That's what you do. You're a wine lover. And we are here to review some wine with you guys. Wine? In particular, wine from this club called Vino Verso. Vino Verso is a wine club that goes to a specific region around the world, the wine region. And they sample a lot of wines, and they pick the six best wines they think is going to educate you the best on that region. The region that we are covering today is Salento. Salento. Salento from Italy. And if you don't want to travel there or can't travel there right now, then getting this parcel is like a little travelogue of your own. And then they also send you... The cool magazine. They talk about local things that makes the place authentic. Like the architecture, the farms, the retired footballer who has a restaurant there. You might be reading through like a travel magazine and you kind of want to be able to jump in there a little bit without jumping on an airplane. And so this sort of brings the two together. Perfect. The first wine we are tasting is from Tenuta Boncore, and it is a Negro Amaro. I believe there's alcohol in this wine. So what do you think about this wine overall, David? I think it's really good. I could uh, drink the shit out of this wine. Would you get tired of it? No, because it's... Um... So, in my lack of qualifications other than I just like to drink it, I'd say it's a, a substantial wine that has a lot going on but it's also not super tannic but it's also not just a bowl of fruit you yeah, know it's somewhere you. really nicely in the middle in the aroma there are powerful impressions of tea leaves and traces of licorice figs and eucalyptus so licorice a better aspect negro maru really gets bottled on its own 100 percent. it doesn't oh. really get bottled as a mono cultivar which is just one cultivar type of grape per bottle it usually gets blended with malvasia nera which is a much more fruitier wine, so it makes a, a powerful red blend if you if you blend those two wines. But on its own, it's a bit somber. Yeah, but it's great too. It it is great. So, but on my own, I'm also a bit somber. <laughs> so I kind of feel at home with this wine. On my official scale, I give it a I would drink it. So the second wine we're tasting is Pietra Caia from Cantina San Donacci, and the grape is Malvasia. Malvasia. Malvasia Nera. Yeah, one hundred percent. It smells such a big great. difference. Great, huge difference. Such a big difference, and that's a, the beauty of this uh, this wine club, this parcel, because you taste it in you know in a row, and you can taste the difference. So the first one we had was Negro Maro, hundred percent, and but usually that Negro Maro gets blended with this wine, Malvasia Nera. It's much easier to drink, much less tannins. Um, oh wow! Much lighter, but still uh, complex enough that it's not just a bowl of grape juice. There's uh, a lot going on. There's in a there. lot going on. There's much. It's much fruitier. But I could also drink the shit out of this. You can drink the shit out of this. I could probably drink more shit out of this than the other one. Than the other be one. Told. Okay. There's definitely. There's dark cherry. You get dark cherry on this. Yeah. Okay. So let like me. Big time. Okay. Let me see what the the aroma is. Vinous with a reserved strength resembling a mixture of berries and lavender. The delicious accent of acid and tannins, which is true. It That's has a, a delicious accent of acid and tannins, but not too much tannins. The Negro Maro, the previous wine, more tannins. It, there, it's a bright wine, but there's still like some weight to it. This is a party. This wine is also from Tenuto Boncore. It is a blend of Negro Amaro and Malvasia, and it is a Salis Salentino Reserva. Hey guys, this is the Malvasia Nera. Negro Maru blend. Negro Maru is the darker, sort of more tannic, more serious one. A little foreboding was your word? Uh, somber. Somber. And then Malvasia Nera is the more fruitier wine. Yeah. And so do you get the fig on there? For sure. Okay. Do you get the caramel on there? Yeah. But for some reason, I would rather pick the Negro Maru 100% Negro Maru over this. Than the blend. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like the Negro Maru a lot. Um, this one, maybe it's a little easier drinking than the Negro Moro by itself, but the Negro Moro by itself had a real uh, personality. I don't know. Maybe it's trying to please all people. You've got like Negro Moro, very serious, very somber, and then you put just a little bit of Malvasia in there, and the whole picture just sort of softens and brightens. And that's what this blend is like. Now this wine, Grapis, is Primitivo under the name Primius, also from Cantina Sandunacci. Okay. It's definitely got the tannins, yeah. but not green tannins, 
well-rounded tannins that's been in the barrel for a while and that's really easy to drink. It's got the fruitiness. I could drink the ever-loving shit out of this wine. You think, th so from the free, so you had 100% Malvasia Nera and Negro Amaro and now Primitivo. So I love the Negro Amaro, and the, but that's a place and a time kind of thing. This one is, um, there's a ton going on there and I could also drink several bottles of that. Not in one sitting. Yeah, right. You're a wine lover, you drink wine, it's nothing to be ashamed of, just like yeah. you guys at home. So, you got the tenants, but the tenants itself, rounded. It's got a great Easy structure, but it's super round. It's got a real nice mouth feel. Yes, it does, but it doesn't make your mouth pucker. No. Okay. <laughs> it's not. Doesn't oh, did make, you say pucker? Yeah. Yeah, it what does you, not do that either. Doesn't. Why did you think I said it? It says the smell is typical of Primitivo with ripe cherries and confectionery as the dominant impression. So, like. So, candy. There's a candy sweetness. There's a specific element of bitterness. Which is not too bitter, like it, it, it's, you don't yeah. like it, but it's, it's, it's not yeah. to give it a structure. In a way that keeps all that fruit from just being a, a, like a piece of pie. Exactly. This is Primitivo. by far my favorite wine so far. Guys, for the next wine, we're going to taste another Primitivo to taste the difference between Primitivo. The second Primitivo from Salento is Tanuta Boncore. People saying it's the first grape. And people saying that this is actually the grape that was served at the Last Supper. Oh, really? Yes. Are you serious? Dead serious. You shitting me. Not shitting you right now. Can't prove it, but they say that this primi first grape served at the Last Supper. Can we insert a painting that I saw recently of the Last Supper that's amazing, that's not like all the other ones? It's like, a, it's sort of dark. Can we insert that, possibly? If I find it online, could we put it in like right here? and say like, oh, they might be drinking Primitivo. What's in there now? In addition to ripe fruits, uh -huh. the aroma features a mixture of dried strawberries. Yeah, yeah. But dried though, not fresh strawberries. No, it's funny. The, uh, when you say that, then I go, oh, sure. Olives and freshly cut hay. <laughs> I would never pick that out on my own. I would never say this smells like dried strawberries and hay. I definitely when get you hay. say it, I go, but also it's funny too, like dried strawberries, because it's not like a big berry no. freshness. This wine is called Contrada del Falco, which means Contrada of Falco, also from Cantina Santonacci. Whoa, somebody's having a big boy glass of this last one. Contrada del Falco. Cheers. 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 Crepes. Oh. oh, fantastic. Hot damn. This wine embodies the best of Primitivo, Negro Maru, Malvasia Nera. Yeah. And it's a blend of the three. I have to say that first. Okay. So it's got 50% Negro Maru, okay. 25% Malvasia Nera, and 25% Primitivo. Okay, so let me tell you what I love about this whole experience. I now know what that means. I know there's going to be fruitiness in there. Yeah. I know there's going to be a bitterness in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a really well-rounded wine. The aroma is invitingly rich with a strong sweetness from the grapes. Sure. Okay. One thinks immediately of a cigar box, confectionery, and chocolate. It's That's not really accurate. The same impressions are also present in the taste. I just don't, I don't think I've ever thought immediately of a cigar box. So for a bottle to be just under 20 bucks, I feel like that's a steal. I feel like this is like a, a head turner wine that you could pour for somebody and they would expect it to be what? I mean, much more expensive exactly. than a $20 bottle of wine. Chiato in barica fino a 12 mesi. Contrada da Falco. Prego. Prego, che molto bene. Molto bene.